short video is going to be on uh, the continuing attacks of the Catholic Church against Brian Denlinger and uh, people who believe in the King James Bible, even like myself. You'll see throughout history, the, one of the reasons the Catholic Church killed all the Protestants, Reformers, and Orthodox believers is because they believe they were cult members. And you can see right in the main title of the uh, agent, Edward Fenninger, that uh, he, he's using that exact same rhetoric. You can even see that he's wearing a Marine Corps sweater. Uh, getting down to the comments on this one video, it's very telling who some of these people are. There's only a certain amount of them, again, commenting over and over. They like to use the word coward a lot. You'll see that thrown out there a lot. And this guy right here. So you have this Alex Canis guy. And they use these false straw man arguments. Uh, again, it's all antics and semantics. They try to find loopholes in the Bible. They go through it very meticulously, trying to find where they can get off inserting their Gnosticism, Neoplatonism, Theosophy, false doctrine, Catholicism, all of it. And they want to attack on Brian for a video ministry. And they say it's not in the Bible. They say YouTube is not found in the King James Bible. Like, look at those semant like, look at that kind of attack. That that's just hilarious. But yet they sit on YouTube doing what they're doing too, pumping out their Catholic doctrines. So these people are very, like uh, Jesus said, they're they're hypocrites. They're they're straight up hypocrites. They're evil. They're liars, and they just go out slandering and defaming anyone who stands against the Catholic Church. Uh, getting into Alex Canis, I'll bring him up because that's what I primarily want to focus on advocate and promoter of the Knights of Columbus and I'll bring up his videos and you can just see here he goes again calls Brian a coward same script being used and he backs uh, obviously backs all, all the Catholic doctrine but it's very telling the agenda that uh, the Roman Catholic Church has and the call to action that it has to go after King James Bible believers in the King James Bible Believing Movement. So you can just see all, all the videos here attacking Brian. In the uh, promotion of the Babylonian religion that the Knights of Columbus are uh, into. Again, Knights of Columbus, you may as well just turn that into a military monk. You can see the old Martin Richling Jesuit coadjutor back in the day. He's wearing a USMC t-shirt here in his video, even though uh, this man's attacking him. They'll attack each other. They're chameleon. They're all things to all men. And in this Alex Canis uh, YouTube channel, you see him backing the sacraments, which aren't scriptural at all. There's no penance. There's there's none of the sacraments in, in the King James Bible, in true biblical scripture, especially for salvation. This other video here, the Catholic Church did not change the Ten Commandments. And as you can see from the Catholic Catechism, they did change the Ten Commandments. They got rid of the big one, not make yourself an idol, number two. Because that completely goes against their beliefs and the idolatry within the Catholic Church. They changed ten into nine and ten and moved four to three. You can see the juggling they have to do to be able to get their lies concreted into their false belief system and false doctrine. And so getting back to Alex Canis, the interesting thing that you'll see here is uh, so he's commenting on Edwards page and I believe yes he's even gone so far as to com comment over and over the thing I'm pretty sure of oh maybe three times yeah they throw out their narcissist whatever is uh, why isn't why isn't uh, Edward reproving that man for his uh, nonsense in biblical scripture with the Ten Commandments and the sacraments? He he isn't reproving him at all, and uh, so that just shows you who who's working hand in hand, because uh, he won't go after the Catholic Church in in that regard. That's not his agenda. This Andrew Sheets, who's another uh, hardcore Satanist, I want to bring up his stuff because uh, this got him really worried bringing out my video, he uh, obviously has a real big problem with saved men like Brian Denlinger. And I'm going to bring up his one little blog spot. 
It, these people all write forums too, uh, trying to persuade public opinion. And they'll all be false. Okay, so you can just see here certain patterns too, where he calls Brian Denlinger as an ignorant bigot and actually uses him as almost a KKK reference. Well, that's interesting because the guy known as Andrew Sheets right here, who can't help but reply over and over, he also lists Brian as a KKK member. So you can see who they're willing to point fingers at. They're willing to point fingers at the KKK, which is just an offshoot terrorist faction of their own Catholic Church. If they're so sick, they'll attack his family. That's what the Catholic Church does. They'll, they'll come after your family. They'll come after everyone you know. But look at all this that they'll write about you. They'll just come after you. These people are filthy. They're demon-possessed. This is uh, not just disagreement. This is satanic hatred. And like the Pharisees did to Jesus, they'll try and tempt you by calling you coward, by telling, by writing out things like you're too embarrassed to answer and stuff. And that's another typical tactic of the Catholic Church. So getting back to Alex Canis. So yeah, this is satanic hatred. This is what this is. And you can see clearly that the Catholic Church is the one promoting this and all of its false believers, its call to action which is in the Baltimore Catechism. And they'll get kickbacks for this, whether they're in their Knights of Columbus lodges, their Masonic lodges, or their, Catholic, or their churches, their false churches. So I just wanted to show that on Ed's channel and how he won't reprove Catholics and how they have the same scripted talking points. And they hide behind the King James, trying to find loopholes and small little, not discrepancies, but they'll try to make them into discrepancies to lead people away from the scripture, lead people away from the truth of God's words in the King James Bible. It's all a game to these people. And the more spiritual leaders you'll have out there preaching, the more they'll have to send agents like Edward out to do their work. They'll come out of the woodwork, these agents. And before I put my video out, I should actually watch to see this. I could have added this stuff to my other video so I didn't have to make this one. But I figured I'd make this one just to continue to show people the satanic agenda of the Catholic Church and the Satanists out there. And it's all controlled opposition. If Brian Denlinger didn't exist, none of these people would have to exist. And they'll attack me and they'll attack anyone who comes after them, showing what they're really up to. They don't care about saving souls, they care about damning people to hell. And I pray to the Lord Jesus Christ in the full power of his name, that the counsel of Edward Fenninger and the Catholics that are sent out upon YouTube be stopped and brought to naught. And I put all faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to see that through. Because these people are vile, wicked, slanderous, evil men.